Hi everyone, Wade McMaster here. We're back again with the second video in our Divi 3.0 series. We've already customized our theme and now we're gonna actually check out the visual editor and start putting together the landing page that we were talking about. So I won't uh, beat around the bush. If you wanna check out that first video on how to customize your theme, it is in the link to in the description below. Otherwise, uh, let's get straight into it. Okay, so we're back at the, uh, the same website we were looking at earlier. Uh, we've got our branding and our basic templates set up. But what I want to do is I want to create a landing page, which is going to be uh, something I use for a home page, maybe collect subscribers, that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head up here to new, add a new page. Now because I'm recording a video, I'm experiencing a few performance issues. So bear with me if anything seems a little out of place. So we've got a new page, just like any other page, we're going to, except we're going to switch to the Divi Builder. Now, you see we've got the same Divi Builder here from previous versions of the theme. Uh, I'm not going to go into how to use that right now because I do already have an existing video which shows you how to do that. So uh, if you want to check out that video, there is a link below this video in the description, whether you're on my website or on YouTube, I will pop a link below this video. Um, but all we're going to do is use the Visual Builder, which is sort of the new, most impressive feature of Divi 3. So I'm just going to click on that. So as you can see, we've got our basic theme, we've got nothing on the screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, I'm gonna build a bit of a feature box to start off with. So I've already got a row existing that comes with it. If I wanted to add another one, I can click the little plus symbol there. But for now, we don't have to worry about that. I'm just gonna go into my settings, by clicking the little cog, change the background color. Now I can resize this if I want to. Change that to a bit of a gray. I'm also gonna add a background image. one here and click OK. As you can see, we've got a nice little image there. I can increase the padding, that sort of thing. But for now, what I want to do is just add a simple call to action in the middle of the page there. So I'm going to simply click this little green add button there, full width row. Now you, you, you can choose, before I go into this too far, but you can do a few options. You can choose different columns column widths, you can choose, if you want to have an image to the left, you can actually choose a column there, add an image, going into image, which we'll go down, we'll go into a later point, but for now, just to get things moving, we'll switch back to a, a single column. We're just gonna add a simple call to action at the top of the page. So if I scroll down here, as you can see, there are countless numbers of different types of uh, elements you can choose, and they're all, they're all really uh, interesting, really good elements, but for now, we wanna focus on call to action. So first of all, we start off, we've got this blue background, which looks pretty horrendous. So I'm just going to turn that off. I want to keep that background shining through. And I'm just going to simply say, work smarter. And uh, button URL, we want to go to a page, but I don't have any pages set up. So I'm just going to put a hash in there for the sake of the video. Button text, learn more. And then we want to have a bit of a message. Message. Speed up, activity, power, technology, tools. So nothing fancy, but as you can see here, things are a bit small, they don't look the way we want them to. Maybe I wanna put an exclamation mark. I can actually edit this in place. I can say speed up productivity. I can make that bold if I want to. I can underline over here. You get these nice little visual tools that you can simply work with. They're very handy. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do though is I wanna make, make this look a bit better because we don't really care about the text at the moment. We're just sort of looking at the design. I can actually change the header font size here with this little slider. Work smarter. I don't like that exclamation mark. <laughs> so we've got a nice, nice big heading there. We can also change, if I scroll down, Got the body font size, make that a bit bigger. And then we can go through, we can do change colors, etc., that sort of thing. So you've got all your all your options here. The body font, I can change the font on this particular row. Um, as you can see, it's already chosen my default fonts from the theme editor, but uh, maybe I want to change the color. Maybe I want to make that a gray so it doesn't quite stand out as much. Now the button, we can choose a global style for the buttons through the theme customizer that we were looking at earlier. But for now, we just want to create our own, for this particular row, we want to customize the button to a unique color, that sort of thing. So what we're going to do, scroll down, 
and you see there's a section here, use customized styles for button. I'm gonna turn that on. And then I'm gonna scroll down. I want the button text size for one to be a bit bigger. And also want the border width. I can make that thicker if I want to, thinner. I can simply change the how round the edges are. But for now, I wanna keep it square. So I'm gonna put that all the way off to the left. And I'm gonna change the border color to a green. I'm gonna try and find one relatively similar to the green we've got at the top there. It's not gonna be perfect, but uh, you know it's gonna be good enough. I'm gonna copy that color so it's exact. But background color. And then I'm gonna change the text color to white. So now we've got this nice button here. Now you notice that when I hover over it, it turns blue. Maybe we don't want it to turn blue. Maybe we want it to turn to a nice, when I say nice, maybe something a little bit outstanding and even possibly a bit ugly. Maybe we want to choose a yellow or something crazy like that. So button hover color, let's just go with yellow for the sake of the video. Tick that off. And you can see now we have this nice call to action at the top of the page. You can hover over it, we've got this nice ugly yellow. You can make that a black, whatever you want. But we have a nice little call to action there at the top. Now, a lot of people prefer, there's a thing called space. You want space around elements you really want to stand out. Now at the moment, there's not a lot of space here. One of the cool things about this visual builder is you can click on sections and you see bits of margin pop up here and there that we can edit. So I'll hover over this here. Whoops. Hover over this here and you'll see this little highlight. You can drag that down, create some space. And you get the same thing at the top here. And you can get this really nice spaced out looking call to action. Now that's as simple as simply popping a background image in there and that will fill the entire background. You can change those settings in here. We won't go into that in a moment because we've got a lot to cover. But you can see we've got a lot of things going on. We, just a background image, a bit of text, and it's just really simple to do. Five minutes, not even, and you've got a little call to action set up with a link to a page. Now, a good trend a lot of people like to use in their landing pages is the little uh, icon, three icon set up you can have down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another row. So by simply clicking, so we've got, a, we've got our little blue blue section there that adds another a whole other section. We can go full width, regular, the same as usual Divi, but for this video, we'll go for another regular section. I'm gonna add three icons. So I'm gonna choose 33% columns. As you can see, we're pretty much right to go there. Now, I'm not really ready to add anything in there yet. What I want to do is I want to change the background color of that again, just to a bit of a gray. That's just all simple. All these options are simply here by clicking this cog and you can right align that and turn that and sort of do what you want with it, turn it off. So you've got a few options there. So we've got a nice gray section here that we want. What I want to do is add icons and a little call to action. Now, I can cheat a little bit here. I can duplicate this call to action and then I can simply click on the arrow and I can move it into this section down here. Now, that text is gonna be a bit big, it's not quite what we want, but I can simply go into the settings. Once again, I might just turn that off, head to the design, change the header size, make it smaller again. That body text color, I want that to be white again. And maybe I want the button to be black. Now we're not gonna worry about the hover over at this point simply because I just wanna move forward a little bit. Um, that gray color is a little bit light. I can darken it up a little bit. I can resize that so it's a bit taller. So we've got a call to action here. Maybe I wanna say about, it's an about section. And maybe I wanna add a little icon above it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just simply Hover over, you've got a little gray button here, add an image. I've gone too far, image. Pick one, this one here. Now what I'm gonna do is I want this image, for one, I want it to be aligned to the center. And then I also want an animation, instead of left to right, I want it to come in. Actually what I'll do, I will keep it left to right. We're gonna do a little bit of a fancy effect, click tick. And then I'm, once again, I'm gonna click on the little arrows tool here and I'm just gonna move it above. As you can see, 
with our nice our first nice little icon. So once again, by clicking this, I can duplicate this icon. I've actually duplicated the row accidentally. <laughs> I don't want that, so I will trash that row. I'll duplicate this image. I'm going to shuffle that over here. Duplicate it again. Shuffle that over to here. And once again, I'll duplicate this little section here. Pop it over there. I've moved it in the wrong position. Like I said, duplicate it again. Move. Now this does take a bit of adjusting. It doesn't want to sort of do exactly what you want, but you do get there with a few clicks. It's not a, not a huge deal. So let's say I want to make this pricing in blog. And I'm simply going to go in. Now this has got a left to right animation. They've all got left to right animations. But I'm going to change a few things. For one, I'm going to change the image. And then I'm going to change the animation from bottom to top. And over here, I'm going to change the image again. And we're going to go right to left. So that way, when the page loads, we've got these two coming in from the sides and this one popping up through the middle. So we've got a nice nifty little effect there. Now, before I move on, I'm going to save this. I'm going to click on the little purple icon down here. I'm going to actually going to publish this page. This is a test site. I can get away with publishing it. And then I'm just going to exit the Visual Builder. As you can see here, we've got our call to action at the top there. And then when we scroll down, our little icons slide in. And we've got the first that top row set up on our website. Now I'm going to add a lot more to this, but I'm running a bit out of time bit in this video. So in the next video, uh, we're going to look at just a few more bits and pieces that we can add down there. and. Um, we can go from there. And we're actually going to sort of mix between the two builders a little bit. So there's a way you can really get things set up and then just simply switch back and forth between the two. It's very, very cool. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. We are, still have a lot more to get into. We're going to show you just how quickly and easily you can make a really awesome landing page using Divi 3.0. Now, uh, if you want to check out the next video, it is available in the description below. And uh, also, if you want to read more information, just head to willbuildyourblog.com slash Divi3. And if you want to download the Divi theme, head to www.willbuildyourblog.com slash download Divi. Now, this is an affiliate link, as I mentioned in the last video. So I do earn a commission if you do go ahead and purchase it. But as you can see, this software is amazing. I've been using it for years, well, the versions of Divi for years, not Divi3 because it's brand new. And it's just fantastic and well worth checking out. Once again, thanks for watching and please subscribe if you enjoy these, these sorts of videos. See ya.